Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about determining the range of functions. So now I will show you the answer. Question number one. We know that s squared is always greater than or equal to number zero. For all the value of s belong to real numbers. So, in this situation, we go about s square plus 1 is greater than or equal to number 1 because we just add number 1 in the both side. So, the range of this situation, that should be about form number 1. We need to use a square bracket to positive infinity. The next one, we do the same technique. So, because we have negative sign in here, so they will change the size, go to smaller than or equal to number 0. Later that, we have number 9. So, the range of this situation, that should be about from negative infinity to number 9. Question number 3, we can put this one into 10s minus 1 over negative 5s plus 3. First, we have the limit. When s approach to positive infinity of the function, we see that we have number 10 and we have negative number 5. 10 divide negative number 5, you go about negative number 2. Similar for the negative side. And we know that we cannot allow negative 5s plus 3 cannot equal to number 0. So S should be 3 over 5. So in this situation, we have the asymptote in S equal to 3 over 5, just like this and this. So in this situation, we need to find the range of this one and that should be about range will go to negative infinity to negative number 2 because they don't reach about the value of negative number 2 that's why we just have like this and we have negative number 2 with the positive infinity Next one, we do the same technique, just like this one, and we have same the range in here. Because we just put the square root in the both side, and we got about number one. Next, we know that's the domain in here. That's it for negative number 2 to positive number 2 because under the square root 4 minus s square should be greater than or equal to number 0 that's why you go by negative number 2 and positive number 2 the highest of this one when s equal to number 0 so y should be about number 2 when s equal to number 2 or negative number 2 
you got about y equal to number 0. So the range in this situation from 0 to number 2. And the next one, when s approach to positive infinity, the function in here, you will go about 0, similar for the negative side. But this is about s square, s square on way over the positive number. The smaller in this situation are the higher in this situation when s equal to number 0, y equal to number 1. So the range of this situation that should be about from 0 to number 1. And the last one, we need to know that s minus 1 over s plus 3 should be greater than or equal to number 0. So the smallest value when s equal to number 1. And that's why y equal to number 0. And we know that when s approach to positive or maybe negative you got about one so the range of this situation that should be about from zero to number one and from number one to positive infinity And this is the answer for all the question in here. That's it the end. Thank you for watching.